Ever notice that most time travel movies, TV shows, games, cartoons have one thing in common as far as plausibility, deniability, morality clauses, and being able to affect the time continuum in such a way? Can you really go back in time and kill Hitler or your father or your grandfather or like bet on the lottery and uh, put stock market onto like Apple, Microsoft, etc.? I mean, can you really get away with this? Or is there going to be like a butterfly ripple effect in a bad karma way? Kind of like with a uh, spoiler alert, James Frankel trying to to prevent JFK's assassination based on a Stephen King story. Awesome, awesome stuff. Great, great thing also on Hulu, but also Andy Samberg's Palm Springs is on Hulu too. Fun, fun movie. And I'm going to go into a little bit of a work in progress here because this is another thing that could have been lost in time forever, but uh, this great developer, Chris Oberth, who worked on an old arcade game and so many other great games after that. And Eater, uh, the art of art game, and of course like uh, stuff like Time Killers, and he even worked on like an unreleased NES game called Days of Thunder. Right here is actually my first uh, attempt at trying to get this game working on a Maiden 2003 stream, and it has graphical glitches. So I went back in time, so to speak, and I fixed them up. But what's what happens when I go to the outfield? Look at them crazy uh, angels in the outfield style glitches there. Remember that movie, guys and gals? But in any case, I went back to the drum board and got this fixed up with the help of Arcade's 2003 and a few other people. And it's working way better now. But let me know what your favorite time travel movies. I mean, uh, even from a kid, a young age, I was uh, thoroughly fascinated with time travel movies. Uh, the first time I ever saw The Final Countdown with Kurt Douglas. I mean, that was a great, great movie from roughly 1980. Where they basically go into a, a wormhole. And then they have the choice of, spoiler alert, being able to try to prevent Pearl Harbor from ever occurring. And that movie is just a fun, fun movie. I need to go back to it. But we're going to go to this main floor right now. And there's also another time travel movie uh, called Maps of the Tiny Little Things, which is on uh, Prime right now, and I need to check that out too. Uh, and it's supposed to be more of like a, a cute style movie, but I think I can handle it. I mean, I like my crazy uh, uh, action pa action packed uh, time travel movies like Tenet, which people were saying was really confusing, but I watched it and it did not confuse me to say the least. I mean, it was pretty presentable, just like Inception and Interstellar. I had no trouble whatsoever understanding any of those movies. We're going to go to the uh, more final approach of Mame 2003 stream right now. And uh, even like Butterfly Effect with Estian Kutcher. Have you ever seen the alternative ending? I mean, that movie is just bad, <laughs> bad crap crazy with some of the alternative endings. But this is a great, great game here. And we're going to play this in a very, very uniquely interesting way. Because I showed you in my last video that this game has a learning curve. But it's pretty difficult to play. So I'm going to go into uh, input right here. We're going to do a little bit of a time continuum thing. And uh, even the show called Continuum. Amazing show. I absolutely love that show. Of course, we have the Sarah Chronicles. Uh, Sarah Connor Chronicles, great show related to Terminator. We're going to go to Hockey Binds, and remember what I'm about to do could affect other cores in a tragic way where it could actually make them run slower or even make the games crash and not even load whatsoever. So make sure you turn this off when you're done. So I'm going to make this uh, rewind go to L2 right now. I can push the start key to revert it, but I'm going to go to L2 again. Bam. And then I'm going to go to Quick Menu, Rewind. And you want to make sure this is off when you're done. I'm going to have it on for right now. So again, I have it. Hockey Bites. I have Rewind set to L2. And then uh, Rewind here. I'll disable it when I'm done. But we're going to make this game really, really interesting. I mean, even in a previous video, a couple of times, I showcased Robotron 2094. A great twin stick shooter from the 80s. And that game is just half the scene to be believed. It's like a psychedelic delicacy of awesome, uh, awesome stuff. Uh, I'm showing you like another video, but I want to make this about this one right here. Let's check Rewind. Yes, it's working. So we're going to have some fun here today. I'm going to try to do some fancy stuff, and I also went into the input for this game, and I have my first, second, third, and home all mapped to my uh, A, B, X, and Y to make it nice and easy. And I can hold down the L1 button to do power-ups like this. Look at that! Oh, yeah! And if I miss the ball, I can rewind it! <laughs> let's try to get in there. And if I miss it this time, out, let's see if I can get out further and then... Uh, Okay, I'm gonna let that one go. But yes, yeah, so, sometimes it's like uh, there's this one time travel little uh, short movie I saw where a guy kept rewinding time over and over again. Spoiler alert! At the very end of it, he got hit by a bus and over and over and over and over again for a uh, time paradox. Okay, let's try this rewind there. Can I get this? Oh, look at that, so close! Let's try getting in there. Let's try getting in there. Oh, close enough. It'll be better when I'm bad enough, but I did this like a little practice session. It was so hilarious. Let's try doing, uh, I'm going to let my power meter build up here. And you can actually do the craziest bean balls here. It literally knocks them to the floor. It's so hilarious. 
Like, I, the only time I ever saw stuff like that was I'm like, uh, what was that? Bases loaded when they stormed the base and stuff. I don't, I don't want to use any more of my power-ups for now. I want to be able to do some good stuff here. I can rewind, though. Kind of reminds me of, like, a baseball simulator. Oh, look at that. Rewind time for the win there. Oh, hell yeah. Imagine me you can do that in real life. Oh! <laughs> I, rewind. I didn't need to rewind there. Let's take this guy out. They don't know I can rewind, though. Oh, that was so close. I'm going to get this. Oh, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Let's try this again. Oh, I missed that bat. Nope, I can rewind and try this again. Oh! And I can rewind it. Try to go for a line drive. Nope, I missed it again. Let's try to rewind it again. Let's try to rewind it again. No! I'm gonna let that one go. Let's try a power. I'm gonna let my power up meter go. No, actually, I wanna rewind and let my power up meter stay. I'm gonna let it go up. Help <laughs> the chipmunks with the freaking A. I'm gonna let my meter go up so I can pull up my lightsaber. Which is actually gonna be. Oh, look at that. It was sweet as hell. If I hold down my uh, second base and the L1 button, I can do a lightsaber. Oh! I might have to do that in the next round here. Close. I gotta have full power for it. Oh, let's rewind that. <laughs> let's rewind that. Uh, I don't want to use my power up there. <laughs> the chip marks are playing baseball here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, I keep forgetting I gotta do up on the D-pad to make it hit. I'm gonna let this be out though. I'm gonna retire. Because I wanna have my full power up so I can do my lightsaber, which is gonna be an amazing hit. You're gonna have to hold L1 and circle to do my lightsaber, and then I can swing the bat. I'm not gonna use any power ups there. I'm just gonna try to out them real quick. Oh yeah, could be out of here. Can I get my outfitter over there? Let's walk over that way. Oh, I'm so close. I'm gonna try this one two more times. Ah, I gotta be back. I gotta watch the green thing here. Watch the green X. Oh, what happened here? I jumped the wall. Wow. This is actually crazy. Well, let me so know, know some other time travel movies that you're a big fan of. I'm almost close to my full power meter there. I'm not going to waste that. I want to use it for my lightsaber. Oh, he's going to get the home run there. Okay. And one thing about rewinding, sometimes you can lose your sound. I mean, that's one little glitch. Not a big deal, though. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be able to do my lightsaber, though, but you won't be able to hear the noise. I have to make the noise myself. It's worth it, though. Oh, I want to rewind. I want to get that again. I want to get that. Uh, okay, I made it even worse. But, yes, rewind is so awesome on so many games, even like Super Mario Brothers, etc. Castlevania. Oh, I can get this. I can get this. So, I need to move down a little bit earlier. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm close to getting him out anyway. I just want to be able to do my lightsaber pad. I know I can rewind it enough times to be able to show you the lightsaber. Okay. So I got to hold down the L1 and then push the circle button here. Let's try this. L1, circle. Uh, let's actually make sure I do it. There we go. Lightsaber. Oh, hell yeah. I did a lightsaber home run. This one.